once the initial setup is done the next thing that we have to be doing is to create the modules to achieve whatever steps we have to implement as a as a part of it what we will do is we will try to create few other modules that can be integrated into the RE framework later the first module that we have to develop is a XAML which will be able to launch the website and download the Excel from that and, and another module which will actually enter the data from that particular Excel into the website so let's create our first module to create a first module we can directly go here to new and create any one of this right now we are creating a sequence here sequence to create to launch what let's give a good naming convention here this will be to launch application right okay then create it has created a new XAML for us as we can see in the projects folder it has created a launch application here also we can see that okay uh, let's write the annotations for this so the purpose of it and all that okay this purpose of this is this will launch the website and check if it's launched correctly and will try to download the input file which is a excel type done I'm just clicking control yes it's saved so the first thing that we have to do is we have to be opening the website right so for that I can use the browser open browser the inputs that it expects is browser type it's IE let's use the default IE and then the URL URL is this control C and double quotes then paste it here is the one okay let me run this particular flow once for that I have to go to this particular play button and then click on run file do remember here run file is used to run the current opened XAML and run will run the main thing the reason why it will go to main when we just click on run is because if I just go to this particular file which is available here as you can see this particular project is something that will be invoked when we start a project so here it is mentioned that the main XAML is main.xaml so it will directly invoke this particular thing if we don't change it to something else okay so the thing that I have to be doing is I have to click on run file to run this particular application this particular XAML file I'm running it once as you can see it has launched a particular website okay 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 let's think about it it has launched it but we are not sure if it is launched right so what we can do is to make sure that it is launched and if it fails also then we have we can retry it there's an activity in UI path that we can approach that's called retry activity retry scope the purpose of this particular activity is that it will try to do few actions okay once those are done then it will go to condition and check if it's satisfied then it will move further or it will it will go to the start of this and it will try to execute all these things again let's look at the inputs of it 
the options it will try is to the number of retries how many tries how many tries it has to do okay what should be the time interval between them so what we will do is we will place this open browser right here okay and we'll try to give some validations right here let's take an element exist activity and place it here and let's indicate that on the screen let's say if this appears this RPA challenge here if this appears then we are sure that the application was launched so I will try to indicate that once this thing okay so right now save it and I'll try to say that retry for two times okay the default timeout sorry uh, retry it for two times with an interval of five seconds okay okay control s and here this will wait it will look out for RPA challenge here's the selector and the default timeout is 30 seconds let's reduce it to 10 seconds to I have just provided 10,000 milliseconds okay, I'm saving it I'm closing all the instances I'm just uh, turning off my Wi-Fi so that I will fail it done now let me run it once just tried to load it but because there is no internet connection it has failed okay I'm just connecting it once again let's see if it retries it after say five seconds Cool. because this time there was an internet connection it was able to open this file it has retried it and it was successful this time so we have successfully launched our website and tried to handle some exceptions here cool